Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch to React. I'm sitting in our kitchen. The lightning is horrible. I have a lamp there. Can't do anything about it. Outside is actually really dark. So this is what, what I have. But we will make the best of it. So today I was thinking about... I do a lot of tweets about like pro tips, Sketch to React pro tips. And uh, they are written form and I usually do a screencast. But I was thinking that I uh, we could actually go through uh, two of them uh, and do this in a video format instead. So let's try that one. So two things, two tweets that I want to uh, talk about is first this one. I found this on Stack Blitz uh, on Twitter. Uh, really great account. Uh, how to, as you see here, place items. It's a shorthand property that allows you to center things, what's inside a grid container. So, and as you see there, uh, the, the code is really simple. Uh, this is just a tiny bit amount of CSS. And I'm going to show you how you can do this inside of Sketch to React. So what I did was, let me just pause this. I created a custom CSS file and that is just only a text file that is named .css and I copied that code uh, that you found there. You can go here, if you go to this thread here, uh, you can find the code here. So what I did was I actually just copied this part there. And let me just pause and I will open up the CSS file for you. Here's my CSS file and I named the class uh, something, center it yo. So because I, I have a really bad sense of humor uh, and I just copied this, these two things. And in Sketch to React, in Sketch, I applied it to, let me see here, here, to this, I, to this container. I create a container and put things in here. And also I, I input uh, VH100, which means view height 100. It will center it in the middle. And actually, if you see here, here you have the VH100 thing. But in Sketch to React, you just name it the other way around. So VH100. And what this does, it centers the, the whole container in the middle, like this. Really nice. So whatever you put in here will be centered. So that was tip number one. Another one, another thing that I think is that you should be doing, if you're not already doing it, is actually use also Figma to create things that you can't do in Sketch. Uh, and in this case, I'm talking about these, these awesome backgrounds. You see them here, they are beautiful. And I found this uh, plugin also via Twitter. Let me just take Figma here and put it there. It's called, it an, has a an, uh, great name, Rudy Rudy Artwork Generator. And what it does, you input colors and I took two of our colors here uh, and you just fiddle with these settings you can do a lot of funky things here here's this the uh, artboard size so I needed like HD and then just you can go and do stuff like that and just generate and boom you see cool things so I took some of these and exported them as images and then I just added them as a background component BG so and that took like a couple of minutes uh, and the results are stunning I really uh, it's awesome. 
So uh, that was that pro tip. Uh, let me see. I think I had them here. Here. Yeah, exactly. So you can find all, all of these tricks, uh, tips uh, on our tweet, Twitter, which is this address there. Uh, and then another cool thing that I also tweeted about is that you can nest CSS animations really easy. So I'm using of course animate CSS uh, which is my it's my top 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 uh, animation CSS animation library animate dot style I think the website is called I'm not sure yeah and here you have a lot of awesome animations what you do is first of all you need to uh, take this CDN address this one copy it to sketch add it as a uh, external asset thing uh, it's just a text file that you name external asset.css you can put here you can put anything doesn't matter it's this part here that is actually the important thing and I just uh, here it is I just copied that uh, address and then here you have a very simple uh, um, tutorial guide how to use this so what you do is you actually uh, find the animation that you want you copy it to clipboard and then you get the animation name and then after that uh, you input it like this so for example here uh, I have the text uh, text node has fade in down so uh, you need to input it like this animate underscore underscore animated and then animate blah 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 and the name of the animation and then you can also delay things oh you have simple instructions here how to actually do this uh, and then i nested this so i made another one inside the other one so just using the group our group component which is a really advanced a layout component that you should actually use a lot so yeah we have group and group fixed uh, and the group fixed does I uh, that is my favorite one since I want it to look like this in code uh, if I haven't if I didn't use group fixed the text will be filling up the whole container so I don't want that so I use a group fixed and it's it makes it look like you actually have in sketch I want it to be like this formatted like this so group fixed is kick-ass and here it's really uh, I enjoy doing stuff like this uh, you can get really expressive I know it's a bit silly but yeah uh, it's I this is me um, so I will upload this uh, file the sketch file to our marketplace uh, and it will be free so you can download it uh, that's it I hope this was uh, enjoyable have a great day and I hope your lightning is um, better than mine cheers